Several documents and other materials were today seized at the St. Andrew home of the former Stocks and Securities Limited SSL employee Gene and Panton, who is at the center of the multi-million dollar fraud at the investment firm. Ms. Panton has provided a sworn statement outlining how she stole millions of dollars from over 40 people. It is understood that the police seized several items, including cell phones and documents, as they attempt to build their case. The superintendent, Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Jamaica Constable and Forces Corporate Communications Unit. What I can say is that you're aware of the multi-agency investigation that's going on in relation to activities um, SSL. So as part of the investigation, a team of officers led by the head of the fraud squad, as well as the investigative department of the FID, so they conducted a search at um, the home of uh, Ms. Panton, who is at the center of the investigation. So far, not much I can share about the search, but can, what I can tell you that they have taken some documents that they believe could be of assistance to them. They will be analyzing those documentation to see if it provides any support to the ongoing investigation. They have also um, taken into their custody some cell phones, which will, will be analyzed. So at this stage, we don't know what's going to come of this search, what it will lead to. But so far, that's where they are with the investigation at the moment. SSP, I understand there was a, another search of a, another premises. What can you tell us about that today? Well, as I, when I spoke with the investigators, there may be other searches that they are contemplating because um, the investigation is like a puzzle. So as you look at one piece, you see where another piece take you to another location. So I know that they're, from, from, from my discussion with them, there are likely to be other searches relative to this investigation. What can you tell us about the health of the accused in this matter? Well, you know, that is not within my scope because I don't know medical in medical term. I, what I can tell is that um, she she um, she's, was in a wheelchair during the, the, the search, but I, I can't speak to her health. Does she still live at these premises? As far as we know, this is her home. Was she arrested? No, she was not um, arrested today. When is she likely to be charged? So that will be a determination for the investigators, the um, FID and the fraud squad. And that will also be determined by the evidence that they uncover during this search and other parts of the investigation because it's a large investigation. So this is just one part. So there are other parts and at the end of the day, they are trying to get as much evidence as possible to see how they proceed next. Are you in a position to say how many, well, what other parts are we talking about? No. Has the statement that she provided to SSL private investigators been provided to the police and have the police had a, had a sworn statement from the suspect? Yes, the, the, um, the investigators are in position of a sworn statement. So she has admitted to the theft? I can say that the police are in position of a statement that was provided by her, her sworn statement. And that sworn statement outlines that she stole millions of dollars? No, I can't um, divulge that bit of information, not being an investigator, but it would not be in keeping with our investigative um, principles. So why hasn't she been arrested and charged yet? Arrest and charge is based on evidence. So the investigators, and it's a very high level investigation with a set of competent investigators. We know an, an investigation like this, you want to make sure that you have all the evidence that you need before you. So they're not going to rush into any part of the process. They are going to make sure that everything is meticulously done to ensure that when they get to a point that someone can be charged, then they have evidence to put the matter before the court and have it tested are and get the, a result. Are all the suspects on your radar? I did not get that from the investigators. Is she cooperating with the police? Yes, she is. Is she there right now? Well, she was at the location because um, the, the, the search was supervised by 
her, uh, her attorney and she was also present to observe what was happening. So everything was done in clear view of her and her attorney. Is the police um, satisfied with um, what they have um they can't say that yet because now they will have to go through analyzing every bit of documentation and electronic device that was taken from the location. So they can't give any update yet from the search. Do we know what's the next step after today? After they have analyzed the information, then they will move to the next step. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!